Good morning. Today I am gathered here with my three students, Billy, hello, Bobby, hi, and Bo, you, to make a special announcement. Flippin' physics. It has been two years since I started making videos for the AP Physics C Mechanics curriculum specifically. Today I am ecstatic to announce. I now have free videos for every topic of the AP Physics C Mechanics curriculum. That is so exciting! Congratulations, Mr. P. Yeah, but why did it only take two years? AP Physics 1 took seven years. There is a lot of overlap between the AP Physics 1 and AP Physics C Mechanics curricula. And we actually did some calculus while learning the AP Physics 1 curriculum, so we already learned about some of the AP Physics C Mechanics topics. Right. Yep, that is all correct. That means for AP Physics C Mechanics, I have, all free on YouTube, videos about the derivative, deriving the uniformly accelerated motion equations, demonstrating the derivative, showing component vectors, unit vectors, and R position vectors, using unit vectors in projectile motion, using unit vectors with forces, finding terminal velocity, demonstrating the drag coefficient, deriving motion equations with a drag force, showing work as a dot product, introducing the integral via work, deriving elastic potential energy, deriving the work energy theorem, demonstrating the difference between conservative and non-conservative forces, showing the relationship between a conservative force and potential energy, discussing energy being transferred into and out of a system, clarifying how systems and energy are related, showing stable, unstable, and neutral equilibrium, calculating average drag force on an accelerating car using an integral, relating power and calculus, deriving and demonstrating conservation of linear momentum, demonstrating conservation of linear momentum using unit vectors, deriving and demonstrating impulse, Demonstrating calculus with a ball and force platform. Demonstrating a ballistic pendulum. Calculating center of mass by integration of rigid objects with shape. Demonstrating the translational motion of systems of particles. Deriving centripetal acceleration. Understanding non-uniform circular motion in both a ball and string moving in a vertical circle and a toy car with both tangential and centripetal accelerations. Derivations of rotational inertia of a thin hoop, a uniform long thin rod, and a uniform solid cylinder. Demonstrating the parallel axis theorem, demonstrating torque as a cross product, demonstrating angular momentum as a cross product, demonstrating angular momentum and a pulley mass system, all three of Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Deriving universal gravitational potential energy. Using calculus to derive simple harmonic motion equations. Deriving the periods of both a simple pendulum and a physical pendulum. And energy in simple harmonic motion. Wow. We have learned a lot. Yeah. We have. Currently, my AP Physics C Mechanics curriculum videos total roughly 10 hours in about 70 videos with lecture notes. And that does not include my AP Physics C Mechanics review videos or my roughly 25 hours of AP Physics 1 videos, which are also necessary to understand AP Physics C Mechanics. So if you or your students want to learn anything for AP Physics C Mechanics, I invite you to visit flippingphysics.com. We would love to have you learn with us. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Uh -huh.